Hi all hope you guys are doing well this time i wanted to make something different this recipes are close to my heart as i learned them while we were living in china and traveling across the far east and southeast asia the story of the cabbage stir fry is quite interesting it was those days in china when i used to go to work without having breakfast always in a rush and one of my colleagues would ask me if i ate breakfast i would have to say no when i would ask her about her breakfast her answer most typically was cabbage stir fry made by her husband which took him only a few minutes that's when i took this recipe from her and tried it at home turned out to be super delicious you just need the right sauces with it and make sure it's not overcooked to start with i will roughly chop ginger and garlic along with some spring onions The key ingredient in this recipe is the dry red chilies in oil which makes the oil more like a chili oil then i will drop in the garlic and ginger and the white part of the spring onions and then i will add the chopped cabbage make sure you fry this in a medium to high heat to keep the crunchiness of the cabbage yet cooking it through After frying them a little I will add in the sauces I will be adding some chili flakes soy sauce sesame oil and brown sugar At last I will add in some salt to taste some spring onions and red chilies the one i used here is a ready made bottle of red chilies dipped in vinegar but you can just also add normal red chilies along with 1 tablespoon of vinegar too That's it this is so amazing yet so easy to make For lunch I'm going to make a Japanese recipe. This one is called chahan, Japanese for fried rice along with some miso soup. So, my city in China was only 2 hours by flight from Japan and it had a lot of Japanese cultural influence. Every locality had a few Japanese restaurants and one of their typical dish was this chahan and miso soup which they serve with any meal. This has been one of my all time favorites.
Let's start with adding the chopped leek and red chilies in the oil. Then I'll drop in the chopped carrots and mushrooms. It needs to be cooked in high heat to avoid sogginess. When these veggies are a little cooked, I'm going to add the sauces. The trick to make this awesome leek fried rice is the sesame oil. You can easily get it on Amazon. I will be adding 1 tablespoon of sesame oil, veg bouillon, soy sauce, vinegar, red chilli paste and gochujang paste. You can use all uh, 1 tablespoon each. What's gochujang? So it's basically a Korean sauce or paste which is made out of fermented soybeans, red chilli powder or paste and glutinous or sticky rice. Then I will add in the rice and mix it well. I will let it steam in low heat for a while while I make the miso soup. For the miso soup, in a pot I will add 2 cups of water. Into that I am going to add some veg bouillon, tofu pieces and the miso paste. You can get miso paste on Amazon, we will leave a link down for you all. What's a miso paste? So it's a paste made from fermented soybeans. The soybeans are mixed with salt and cooked sticky rice. All done, let's eat. The fried rice has a very unique flavor and also the miso soup. In case you haven't tried miso soup before, I would suggest you to try it at a Japanese restaurant first and then only attempt to make it at home because the taste is really unique in itself. Dinner had to be very quick, so we made some ramen noodles. Every time we went to Seoul, which was only an hour's flight from Dalian city, it was for shopping or for ramen noodles. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. This is so colorful and I love it. Because my city had a land border with North Korea, there were a lot of Korean immigrants and influence in the city. The version of instant noodles I'm using is called Shin Ramyun, which is closest to the Korean packaged noodles. They have a vegetarian variety which I guess is only packaged for India. Otherwise you will only find beef, pork or seafood. I will leave a link for the vegetarian one in the description below. They are a little pricey but value for money compared to eating out at a Korean restaurant. In a pot, I will add some oil, then uh, add the chopped carrots in that with some salt and pepper. After it's cooked a little, I will remove it and add in the chopped leek. Then I will add the spice which came with the packet and fry it for a while. Then I will add water according to the packet instructions and when it starts boiling I'll add the noodles and let it boil.
and let's hog so that's all for today's one i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you try them out at home please do not forget to tag me on instagram in case you happen to make them see you soon bye